Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you today how to add announcements into your 8300 uh, G700. And I'm trying out a new microphone, so let me know how it sounds. I'm gonna see how this works. I'm actually using a Jabra Pro uh, 9400 to do my recording. I was using a Triton uh, AX720, which was like my gaming headset, but I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try my phone headset and see how it works. <clears throat> anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to show you the announcement form, display announcements, and you can see I already have announcements in there, and I'm going to record those later because that's for the Meet Me conferencing piece that I'm going to show you, but before I do that, I'm going to actually show you how to add these announcements. Uh, fairly easy to do. I'm not using Val Manager. I'm not going to do it with a WAV file. I'm going to do it straight from my phone um, <clears throat> because I'm going to show you how to add announcements using the ASA announcements in a later video because I prefer this over the Val Manager uh, 99 times over 100, if that makes any sense at all. All right, so let's get to this. Change, announcement. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna pick announcement nine so you can see it from the rest. 2001. I'm gonna say integrated. I'm gonna give it a 13 because again, that's my lucky number. And we're gonna call this one test, ooh. Better yet, annoying people. <laughs> You'll see why later. Q yes, excuse me, Q yes. You can put a no here, but this basically allows people to queue up to listen to these messages. It's just a habit of mine that I always put yes. Zero, one V, nine, because that is my announcement board. I guess I should have showed you that. I'll show you that after this. Two, integrated. Come on, thank you. 13, um, not annoying people yes zero zero one v nine boom and submit once that's submitted uh you can go into your station and record this but few requirements but let me show you first list config all you can see right here i have an mg announcement media gateway announcement uh virtual board basically allows me to have 16 channels uh, and it's in there. Okay, so there you go. There you see. All right, so change cause one. Sorry, I'm thinking of an 8700. Uh, change cause. You need to have console permissions. And again, we're going to go over to my lucky number 13. And you can see my number 13 has console permissions. That allows you to record greetings and do a number of other things. Look it up in the documentation and console permissions. But I'll always refer to this if I'm doing a feature that requires console permissions. This one does. So. I know that's there, display station 1000. And as you can see, my cause is 13, so this phone will allow me to do that. Next thing you need to do, feature access code. You need to make sure your announcement access code is enabled or you have an announcement access code in there. And this one happens to be star five. All right, so now we are ready to record announcements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna display announcements. How about I spell right? Display announcements. I'm going to do the annoying people first. So what I do is I go off hook, star zero five. I get dial tone. I then dial the extension two zero 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 one. I get dial tone and press one. This message is about annoying people. Bye. And now it's done. So what it's doing, it's recording. Now what happens if I go into star zero five? I get, I get dial tone, but if I dial 20002, you hear busy signal, fast busy. What that means is the, is the recording is still processing, okay? So give it a few seconds, give it a minute or so, and then it will continue or it will finish processing to allow you to record a new announcement because there's only one board. <clears throat> so just take that as a note and look up some, there are some other notes about recording announcements that when they're recording or they're processing, you'll get busy signals. That doesn't necessarily mean you can't access the other ones, you just can't access that one. All right, so we're gonna go back in, star zero five, two zero 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 two. There's my dial tone, press one. And this is for you great, not annoying people. Thanks, bye. I press pound to end the recording, I get dial tone and I hang up. All right, now, once these are done recording, you can then call them to see or to verify that it's recorded to the volume you like, it's your voice isn't silly like mine, or if you use some stupid words that you're not allowed to use because you're gonna have an HR moment, you know, those kind of things. So 
that's how you test them. Just just simply dial the extensions. Two zero 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 one. This message is about annoying people. Bye. Okay, so you can hear that my announcements are now recorded and ready to use. All right, fairly simple to do, and places you can put these announcements uh, are well. There's really only one place, and that's in vectors. You can also set these up to have music. So if you have integrated music, uh, which is INTEG-MUS uh, as a type, you can you can record or you can you know play some pre-recorded music. You can sing in the phone. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but just remember some there's some licensing and stuff like that. Anyway, not gonna get off topic. Your announcements are recorded, they're ready to use in vectors, and you can go from there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to set up um, uh, some vectoring. I'm going to, I'm, well, I'm not going to show you now, but I'm going to do other videos that, that use announcements. Um, and again, if you have questions on how to add announcements, just refer to this video and you should be good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening to me. Um, cause I do rabbit trail a lot, but Hey, I like to keep it, keep it fresh and uh, keep it funny. So I will talk at y'all later. Thanks. Bye.